Okay, everybody. Well, we're in Maya 2019, and we're going to be talking about Arnold volume shaders today, right? Now, you guys asked me to do more Arnold videos, so we're going to do one today. And uh, before we get into the volume aspect of it, let's talk about shaders in general, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a simple polygon cube, okay? And I'm going to hit R to scale this, and we're going to make this look like kind of a sponge, I would say. Nothing fancy, right? Okay something to do the dishes or whatever right okay here we go or wash your car or whatnot all right so what do we got here well according to maya or according to us basically this is a modified cube but in fact what this is it's a mathematical code that calculates positions of points in space connects them like a frame and the walls are uh, kind of tiles so this is uh, a cube that's empty on the inside right if I go in you'll see that the inside of this is black because we got the the back side of the normals right but there's nothing going on inside there now for a volume that's different a volume is a volume so it's kind of like a sponge right if you go in it's not an empty box there's more sponge inside right that's how that works right so how do we set that up and how do we change that well, first of all, by default, we have a Lambert shader here. So I got this guy selected. If I hit Control A to open up the attribute editor and we go in here, you see that we have a Lambert 1 tab, right? Now, that Lambert 1 is set up by default, as you know, and that will give us this gray color. Now, just to show you that we can render this, I'm going to go up to uh, Arnold. We're going to go to Lights and set up a Sky Dome light, and then we're going to click on IPR Render. All right, here's our cube. Okay. So uh, in order for us to introduce a volume shader, we need to get rid of this default Lambert. Okay, so we're going to select this guy and we're going to find out where that connection is. Now that connection is not in the Lambert tab, it's in the shading group tab. So if you click on that, you will see that under surface material, and again, there we go, it's just the surface, we have Lambert 1. Now I don't want that, so we're going to go and click here. We're going to right click and we're going to go to break connection. Now this will give you a color that you probably saw at some point. If you've been working with the Maya for a while, you probably opened up a scene at some point and saw this color. Well, usually this means that the connection with your shader has been broken, right? Your surface shader in this case. Now, what happens if I try to uh, render this? Let's hit our IPI render again. Uh, we get this uh, warning, we get this funky color, and all of it is not good, okay? Now, keep in mind, if you want to introduce a volume material, you have to break that connection, okay? So that's now gone, and while we're in that shading group, you see that we have a volume material just below that. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit that checkered box, and we're going to introduce that. We're going to go to the Arnold tab, we're going to scrub down, and we're going to look for AI standard volume. All right, cool. So we got that selected, right? And uh, let's see if we can render this. Let's hit IPR. That doesn't look good. It's completely black, right? Well, why is that? Well, for the simple reason that we need to tweak some settings, okay? So we're gonna select our cube, and then we're gonna go into the Polycube Shape 1 tab. Okay, hey guys, well, it's time for a little sponsor break here. And with that, I can make any of these videos for you guys. So show them some love, right? And you actually might love this one. So if you need 3D models for a lifelike visualization that you're working on, you might want to check out Render People. They offer 3D posed, 3D rigged, and even 3D animated people models, right? And they have over 3,000 products right now. They cover uh, models suitable for business, shopping, sports, swimwear, evening wear, outdoor, and even specialty models like doctors, workers, and whatnot, right? So uh, they're high resolution, 8K maps, clean UVs, clean meshes, ready to go in 3ds Max, Maya, Cinema 4D, SketchUp, Unreal Engine 4, Unity, Blender, and Rhino. Now, if you guys use the link below, you'll not only help out my channel at no extra cost to you, but you'll also get free models, totally free models that are posed, rigged, and animated. Okay, so we're in the Shape tab, right? And then if we go in here, you see that there's an Arnold tab, right? And the Arnold tab has all sorts of settings, but the one that we're interested in is the volume attributes. Now you can see that they're both set to zero, right? Step set to zero, volume padding is set to zero. 
So we're going to change that. We're going to set step size to 0.2 and let's set the volume pattern to one, right? Okay, let's see if there's any difference. Let's hit our IPR render. And there you go. Suddenly we have something looking like an actual sponge, right? Which is kind of neat. Now you can play with those settings, of course. You can also play with the density of it if you want. So I'm just going to move this out of the way for a sec here. Make sure we got our cube selected. Yeah, there you go. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the initial shading group here. And we're going to go to the little uh, arrow thingy next to the volume material. And as we do that, you get all sorts of settings here. For example, under volume, you have density. So let's bump that up to, I don't know, let's say three or so. You can see it becomes a lot more dense. We'll go in here, we'll do 10. It's updating real time. And you can see that we now have quite dense material, right? Or volume, I should say. Well, let's go in here and try 0 0.05. And you can hardly see it. It's there, but it's 0 0.1 then. 0 0.5. And as we move forward, it becomes more and more a cube. Okay, you get the point, right? All right, so we have that, right? Now, the cool thing is, though, that, and I did this with a video where I did my smoke bunny in Keyshot, you can introduce a, a noise algorithm into this. So instead of having this square sponge shape, you'll get something that looks totally different. So first, let's bump up this a bit density a bit. Let's go to five. Mm, yeah, that's okay. So we're at five, and what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, to the displacement tab just under that where it says zero, 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 and so forth. And we're going to click on that little checker box right there. And then we're going to go and we're going to introduce Arnold noise. So let me just find this guy. Uh, where is he at? I'll just look for it. AI noise. There you go. I'll click on that. And by default, you see that it really starts to mess with our setup here, right? And here you can do so many things. You can play with all these settings that will uh, introduce more or less noise, okay? So we can uh, bring in distortion here. And uh, it starts to look more like a stretched cloud, if you will, right? Uh, you can change the octaves. Let's go and set that to five which breaks that up into kind of a uh, smoke-like texture. You can even use this for clouds or whatnot, right? So uh, the amplitude, you can play with that. Let's do 0 0.1. And as you can see, it's almost bringing it back to our original shape, 0 0.5 maybe. And it responds quite fast. So this is a very powerful tool that you can play with. Of course, you can tweak the colors, which is kind of neat and so forth and so on, right? So hopefully that will help you to get on your way understanding uh, the Arnold volume shader. Uh, if you have more requests for Arnold related tutorials, please let me know. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you like my content, please do so and hit that little bell thing so you will be notified and you don't miss anything, all right? Well, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.